Hello guys, today we learn how to use our store procedures without any input parameter from OLEDB source to load the data in SS, SSIS and transfer it into another table. Let us see. For this we have required SQL Server Data Tool for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Server Data Tools or Visual Studio 2015. 19. What steps we need to follow? First, we need to add data flow tasks in the in designer mode and then double click on it and put two OLEDB data source from one each source and other is destination and configure it with connection strings and run the projects and data will be transferred. Let us see with an example. Consider we have a table. Create table table imply imply ID imply name, and there each primary key cluster imply ID, and there each three rows in this select store from table imply. Now you get like one two three rows S H M and many. There are three records. Now I uh, now I want to use the issue procedure. Let us see how we write a show procedure to use it. Like create procedure, procedure name is SV employee details as select stuff from triple employee. It will give all the records which are present in the table. Let us see with some diagram here. We see data flow task, then double click, will you will get control flow and need to configure. OLEDB data source and OLEDB destination. Now let us see with a real example. Go to Visual Studio 2015. Now go to File, New, Projects. You put the name of the project. So here you are taking SQL Server integration. Then go to Business Intelligence. Click Integration Services. Then Choose for integrated service project and put the project name is use of store procedure in SSIS. Now click on so you can see here your package will be created. Now go to package ETX, there is control flow. Now there is data flow tasks drag and drag on control flow data flow tasks then click on data flow tasks i need to put two source one for source and other for destinations let us see other source here is we we will use Store procedures, then we will use here OLEDB data source. Again, need to destinations, so put OLEDB destinations. Now, double click on it, put new. Put user ID and password. Stage this window. and choose database test template and click on test connections so test connection succeeded now click on ok click ok now here we want to use store procedure so what we will do in this we will select each sql command so sql command text need to write here so here you use only store procedure without any parameter. So what is our store procedure name? You can see SP EMP details. SVMP details and you can also you can write here execute SP EMP details. That is store procedure. Now you want to show the real so click on preview. So you can see there are Three records is coming from the store procedure. So this way we will use the store procedure.
in SSIS. Now go to columns and see column mapping are done from input column to output column and now click on OK. So our first OLEDB data source will be configured with connection listing and with stored procedures. Now this map to the destinations and now need to configure OLEDB destination. So click on this. Connection is already there. Now you can take new table. So like imply integer, imply name, test SV data. That is the table name. Where from source to decision will you transfer. Now click on OK. Now go to mapping. So mapping will done. Now click on OK. So you can see our OLED data source and OLED dictionaries are configured. Now need to run the these projects and see what will happen. So I click on running the projects and see data will be transfer successfully from source to destination. To check whether transfer or not, let us write query from this SV data and execute this. So you can see here your data will be transferred through the store procedure without any parameters from source to date in other tables. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos. If you want to more videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel.